Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Mental Monday. different. I'm out and about in town and I got coffee and it made me think of something that would make a great Mental Monday discussion. So I kind of want to touch on probably super briefly, it probably won't be a very long Mental Monday, but I kind of want to touch on how caffeine affects anxiety. So I have talked about my history of anxiety a lot. Um, you can go back and watch past Mental Mondays. A bunch of them talk about it. And I also am no stranger to admitting that I'm a huge coffee addict. I drink coffee every day and I love coffee. Yeah. But it it does have a connection. There is a connection between high amounts of caffeine and anxiety. That is because caffeine is a stimulator. It heightens how quickly your brain is working. It heightens your just your whole nervous system reaction. And because of that, it also can give you anxiety, cause problems with your heart rate. It can cause restless leg syndrome if you have restless leg syndrome. So it actually is kind of twofold effect for me because I have both of those. I have anxiety and I have restless leg syndrome. And what happens for me with anxiety is I get jittery. And that's when I know I've had a lot more coffee than I usually do. And at that point, I would say it does affect my anxiety. On a day-to-day -day basis, it kind of is an underlying thing and... It doesn't help, but when it's to that point where I've had more coffee than I usually do, I would say it is probably more of a source than normal. Because on a normal day of my coffee intake, I would not call it the source of my anxiety. I would say it doesn't help it. Which I know sounds like, duh, why don't you quit coffee then? But that's not easy. And... I like coffee. So I haven't totally figured that out for myself if I feel like I should quit coffee or not. Or if I want to, I guess. Not feel like I should, but if I want to. It would be a huge shift, just like when I lowered my soda intake. It was a huge shift. And not that it would necessarily be good or bad, but I definitely think even just not for forever, but taking a break from having coffee and, and letting my body kind of adjust would probably be beneficial to do every once in a while. But anyways, so for me on a regular day-to-day -day basis, it's more of an underlying thing. It kind of just adds a little bit to it. It doesn't help it. But on days when I've had more than I'm used to or more than I really can handle or need, that definitely starts being more of a source because my heart racing and being jittery is kind of the cause of the anxiety, not my normal sources of anxiety, the things I worry about. So that is one aspect of it that I, I know, like instinctively, I know this, but it's hard, especially when you're used to having coffee every day at least having one cup. I really don't usually drink more than a cup and a half in a day. It is a rare day for me to drink two or three cups, um, two usually at the most, but I, I do vary. Sometimes I have a lot more um, than normal, but I also drink a cup very slowly. So, I don't like gobble it down and I'm just constantly drinking it. Usually 
I'm taking sips in between working around the house or at work, I'm taking sips in between tasks. So I I'm drinking it slowly throughout the day. I'm not all at once and then I'm just having a ton of it. It's usually I'm nursing the same cup of coffee all day <laughs> or till I finish it or I'm just done having coffee for the day. And I wanna switch to water or whatever. But I think knowing your own boundaries and knowing how it affects you is important. If you know that you are probably at an unhealthy level of it, it could make a huge difference for you to even just take a break and let yourself adjust. So if you're dealing with anxiety, this is something that could be a huge help to stop because it definitely contributes to it at any level. Any, any excess caffeine is going to not help anxiety just that's just the way that works and this is definitely little things I've been thinking about more lately like other little shifts that I feel like might make a difference for me and yeah so that's kind of my little random take on coffee and caffeine and anxiety let me know your experiences do you drink coffee do you deal with anxiety either of those have you experienced the help in shifting away from coffee or caffeine and helping anxiety let me know if you have any experience with this i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody make sure you are subscribed and i will see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>